Okie doke. So yeah, I was actually, um, I said one of the, um, things I subscribe to, I get a bunch of free, um, each week, <clears throat> excuse me, a bunch of free, um, cross stitch patterns each week. Anyways, it wasn't this one that I got this week. It's from Gathered Cross Stitch. I'll put it in the links. Um, anyways, uh, but I liked one of it. Well, I liked it. And then I saw the artist, uh, who, um, did the free one this week and I was like, oh, I've seen her before in uh, one of the magazines I like to uh, subscribe to. I don't have any of them here. I gave them all to Zoe. Um, but anyways, and then I saw the poppy one. I was like, oh my gosh, and I could get that one free as well. So I was like, well, geez, I'm not, I'm not Mr. Colors. Um, I kind of uh, basically stick to uh, uh, DMC 934, I think it's called. It's dark avocado or something or other. Um, I like, what's this thing here? Is that look? No, that's black. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, sorry. Anyways, so I was going to, I don't have all these colors, uh, the, uh, the exact ones to give you like a color guide or whatever, but I was like, okay, I'll blow up the picture of what it's supposed to look like. And then I'll take a look at all the colors I have. And as I was about to do that, I was like, Hey, wait a minute. Maybe just maybe somebody would be interested in taking a look at my, at my cross stitch stuff and I'll chit chat about it a bit. So here's my cross stitch book. Uh, our box. Um, hopefully I'm, I'm also just doing it in the sunshine. There's gonna be lots of shadows, glare, whatever, but you know, I'm just doing my thing. Um, so here we go. This is a stuff, pretty stuffed box. I could tell you that much. Um, and I, I was just about to start organizing it. I was like, hey, wait a minute. Like I said, I'll, um, so here's some of these practice patterns. Some, I don't know what you guys know about Ida and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know probably not much more than you do if you don't know anything is what I'm trying to say. Uh, all I can say is that as you hear the numbers like the, you'll hear like 12 point Ida or 18 point Ida or 18 count Ida or whatever. Um, the higher the number the fire uh, the higher the resolution I guess you could look at it that way so if you see this is like an 18 18 count so it's when I was uh, practice design I was doing with some cats um, like this one's a 12 you can see, and like this is even worse. Uh, there's, I think I've probably got some nine somewhere kicking around. Um, I have, I have a whack load of nine actually. I think this is something like probably like nine. Some plot one I found at the dollar store. And it's just a whatever. But anyway, let's so just quickly go through some of the stuff. So this is some of the. Uh, so this is what I would call a uh, practice ones. I, like I, you know, I've done some stitch. Yeah, you can see that's nine nine count. This is probably when I started way back when. Um, hopefully, I gotta remember if this is the spot. Um, so you can see some of the designs. I'll show you from where the book I got them from. So it's just so that way I can then I can you know organize them around and see what's going on. And I don't throw anything away. Uh, not this stuff because you never know. Um, this was was I doing? I think it was probably a Mario Kart thing. I was probably doing. Yeah. I just gave up when there's a reindeer or a deer or something. I was like, yeah, from a whatever. And uh, me trying to do some back stitch. Uh, it came out pretty darn good, I think. You can see that? I think so. Oops, I gotta stop touch it, touching the whatever. This is one of my favorite designs, even though it's ironic that I'm doing it in a color thing. It's, I just love that pattern. You'll, I'll show you from where it's from. Um, here's another one I really like. Uh, I did. I made a bookmark of it. I'm Mr. Bookmarks actually for the cross stitch, and that's the color I kind of like. Uh, that I don't know. It almost like a. Um, uh, it just reminds me of like a, a faded. Uh, like you know what I mean. Over time, it's been you know just. I don't know I just like it. It's got kind of like an antique look to it. But what I like it about it is um, it looks like a smiley face. I mean, you know, I think it's supposed to go that. It doesn't really matter, but you get the idea. Um, there's a some more animals and stuff like that needles yeah i'm just i'm not gonna really like i just like i said i'll go this isn't <laughs> so oh, this is the stuff i'm not sure if i've ever done this one before i showed it to you guys nope this is where did i get these guys from must be for something i was doing or going to do um because they're very close to probably some fish but this is my favorite, yeah, that's the 934, the DMC 934, just love that color. I do, so basically I'm Mr. Monotone as well, I'll show you the book that I use later, that I uh, take most of the designs from. Oh, I should go downstairs and grab the very first kit that I ever did too. Um, that was, well, yeah, uh, no, the second kit I ever did, the very first kit I ever did was, uh, I'll show it to you, it was, took me for flipping ever. The person who taught me, which is I think kind of neat too, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but the person that taught me 
um, she um, learned, like, um, the person that taught her was her dad. And I ended up teaching Zoe, so I think that was pretty cool. Uh, I can just say this, the person that taught me how to um, cross stitch, my God, she's got a patience of um, um, a bazillion angels because you have no, I have like a really severe uh, issues with 3D to 2D stuff. I don't know what it, what the problem is. Um, so, oh my God, she, she, she just kept saying, nope, you, nope, nope, for about 45 minutes. And what was that? Putting the the uh, the thread in properly and getting a proper knot, uh, so I could start properly cross stitching. Oh my God! And I was uh, yeah, good on her. This is one I would like to do some uh, at some point. I picked this up at the um, uh, the knitting and cross stitching show. Uh, uh, they do two of them. Well, they do a bunch of them in England, but uh, this one's every October in London uh, at the. Addy Patty or Andy Patty, I think they call it or something. It's the uh, Alexandra Palace. Oh my God, it's a beautiful place to go to. This place is huge. And if you've got um, uh, issues about dealing with like being crammed in with like lots of people, forget it. Do not, I will tell you that much. Avoid that. Uh, the Indian stitching show like the plague. Well, you can watch it on YouTube, I'm sure. It's just packed. The first time I went, it was the irony was that was the person who brought uh, taught me how to do cross stitching. She asked, uh, she says to me, she goes, "Oh, would you like to go to uh, this knitting and stitching show?" And I'm so naive, and oh my god, actually we should go through this stuff while I'm talking. And um, I'm so, so naive. I thought she was bringing me to like a church basement where I'm gonna, you know. So I was humoring her. <laughs> I thought, for God, like, it was going to be a bunch of, you know, fold-out tables, which I, we use for gaming kind of stuff, you know, and I was going to have to buy some god-awful knitted thing from, like, you know, some kind of um, sock puppet that looks like some kind of screwed-up knitted dildo or something from some, like, old lady. But no, no, it's like, it's, it's like, full-on professional. You should have saw the sewing machine type stuff. It was just... Uh, everything was just amazing. Uh, there's another thing I did. Have. Oh, actually, this came from a um, one of the magazines. They have a bazillion magazines uh, there. You can get them from here probably as well. Um, however, um, uh, when I'm at Heathrow, or you know, I go there and yeah, you know, W.H. Smith, and off I go. So I think this is nine nine count. I think. Mm, yeah. Something like that. Anyways, like I said, I'll just go through this. This is something way beyond my expertise level. Um, and it's still cross stitch, holy smokes. So I don't know what count that is. Um, no, it says it's only 14 count? Seriously? Oh, I guess it must be a lot of back stitching. That's why it's so fine looking. Um, anyways, I'm getting to the point too. I'm starting to consider doing a proper embroidery. A cross stitch, I guess, is a part, uh, um, form of embroidery from what I'm starting to learn. But, um, you know, it'd be kind of like saying a. Um, Spruce is an evergreen or something like that. Or I don't know. Anyways, yeah, it's just a bunch of... Uh, there's another one I just picked up at the dollar store just for the hell of it, you know. Um, and these are some interesting pastel... Uh, those are the ones I think I mentioned way back when I was trying. It's like, you can, I guess, take them apart, but it's certainly not like a normal skein, I think that's what they're called. Like the six... You take apart the six threads. So that's it. I've just got a big honk load of these guys and then I'll show you my books and designs and all that fun stuff I guess uh, out. and I think this is still I'm at the sink so yeah I think I'm still okay and what I was working on what I've abandoned and blah 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 oh, should be anyways so here we go so uh, these ones which I haven't done uh, 16 count interesting I didn't know they had all these different counts um, so these ones uh, Zoe purchased for me, and uh, for um, well, Father's Day or my or Christmas or something or other. Um, obviously, I haven't done them, but they're there. And uh, yeah, this this one I was uh, doing. Uh, have I done this one? Finished it off somewhere? I'm not sure. But uh, this is an old school um, Cyberman symbol from uh, the classic Doctor Who. I th wanted to do that. Like I said, I don't even know what's uh, what you guys can see. I'll find out later. Some more stuff I wanted to do. Here, I'll put it this way. That's some, actually, I did this for my mom. Uh, that's a multicolored Lord knows what's. 
This is part of the um, what I probably do Toadette. Yep, that's Toadette, all right. I don't know if you can see that, but that's Toadette. Yeah, I love her to bits. She's my favorite um, Mario Kart driver, bar none. Oh my god, well, I've got the I've got the sweet. I, yeah, I can go on and on about Mario Kart, my friends. Yep, some more stuff I wanted to do for Christmassy type. Do ha ha. This one I'm doing for my mom. I probably started this about five years ago and I banded it. I'll show you what I've got done so far. This one. I like these type of things. I really, I don't know what you guys can see. Hold on, I gotta look again. Yeah, I'm doing terrible. Actually, what I should do is do this. I'll try to, um, it's just difficult because I, I want to look, look. Uh, but you can see that one. But uh, that would take a while. But I, those are the type of things I love to do um, if I'm going to do uh, colored like kits, proper kits. I'll show you the one I, uh, like I'll show you the, the first two. I'll have to run downstairs, but we'll do that in a minute. Sorry, I'm listening to some sweet ass music too. Um, yeah, you can see there, I was practicing. Here's the uh, the, the one there I was showing you there. I started and haven't <laughs> I have put it away here. You know, obviously it's been like mega, mega years, but you can see me working on it. Okay. Uh, what are you? I don't know what you are. Oh, this is the chessboard I probably wanted to start doing. Let me see there. Holy crap. That's going to take a, that would be a lot of thread. Holy Moses. In other words, it's like, well, why don't you just use a bloody sewing machine or something? It's a bit ridiculous. It really is. Feels nice though. Um, oh, there's the ship one. So you can see me marking things off as I go along. If you can think, I'm here. sorry, I'm not really taking a good look. Um, okay, that's that. That's that. Actually, maybe it's going to go quicker than I thought. Okay, then, which is kind of nice. This is the book I am so flipping glad I picked up. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, Charted Peasant Designs from Saxon, Transylvania. Um, I'm one of those people that buy things or judges books by their cover. And when I saw the title of that, I was like, are you out of your flipping mind? Come on home. Um, it's difficult. Some of the designs are really difficult. Uh, it's just the scans are so brutal. Uh, so I've had some, you know, I've had to really work hard. Well, this is where I got the dragon, my Nanguaya dragon for crying out loud. Um, but, uh, just fantastic stuff. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. Just, just, well, there's the woman for my mom. Just fantastic. Uh, just but like I said, you gotta, you start, uh, at least for me, I start blowing them up, but it's just, there's so many amazing patterns going on here. Um, actually, I would love to show you one that I see as a Star Trek ship um, coming up at one point. There's some I will not do because they just look inherently evil to me, um, and I just will not have them on, on my thing. But um, where's that spaceship? I've done so many cool things with these. Uh, I've given to uh, done so many of these designs and given them away. Like, look at this. Does that not look like a spaceship to you? For crying out loud! Come on, man. That's not the. That's not the. Um, the Star Trek ship. I was thinking of. But I actually did some aliens here. I, I, I morphed. Well, mor well, I didn't really morph. I just put things together and said, "There. Can you see them being aliens like those?" Uh, um, uh, the lines there in um, in Chile and whatnot, uh, or the Peruvian uh, whatevers. Um, yeah, there's that design I said, I told you I was mentioning there, which I think is also like a smiley face. Well, I morphed it a little bit to make it more of a smiley face. Um, where's the, um, oh, I think it's later on in the book, um, the Star Trek ships. If I can find them. Look at that thing. I've blown this up so I could uh, do it at some point, but that's going to take a long time. But man, I just love doing cross-stitch. It's one of those, <clears throat> well, I can think about things, excuse me, while I'm, you know, while I'm doing this, it slows me down. <clears throat> it, folk, there's the Star Trek ship. Look, come on. Are they not, do they not look like nacelles? At least to me they do. Look at that. Cool or what? Um, yeah, look at that. Is that not like a bug or something? Oh, I just love this stuff. Look at this. This I have. I've done. Um, and it's my guardian. I, I, yeah, look, look at this thing. Cheapers jumping. Pretty cool stuff, huh? 
But anyways, I'll go down and grab the, um, look at the peacocks. I love reading up on the history. There's the Nanguaya dragon. Kind of. I screwed that up. So I said with the little finger, it's always like giving me the finger now that I screwed it up. <laughs> oh, I love it. There's just so many interesting things to do here. Yeah, I'll show you some of the stuff that I did kind of blow up. And like I said, I'll do the last two things and then away we go. Uh, oh yeah, this is the special uh, material. I don't know if I told you that I got it from the Shaker community, which is ironic. It's from um, the United States. I picked it up in England. But uh, this is uh, some stuff. It's called Espresso Bean. It's by the Simply Shaker Samp and uh, Color... Anyways, I have to supposedly... Um, rinse this before I can use it. Um, it is just, you should feel it. It's, um, oh, ooh, just feel some, oh. Anyways, the last time I went to the knitting and stitching show, they were not there, or they didn't have this. Uh, I was like, oh, shoot. I really wanted to, oh, and this is this other uh, material which I picked up, and uh, it's like this rustic Ida. Um, and I haven't used it yet, uh, which I want to use with the espresso bean. And I've been working on this thing, which is like my sampler, sampler, proto sampler, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. But some of the designs that I like, you know, wow, I did this in black. I guess I didn't want to use my, pre my precious 934. I don't know. But uh, those are some of the ones that I would like to pop in. Um, here's my, I love that little doohickey, like I said. Um, but these are some of the designs or patterns I'd like to pop in so far and into my, and I want to use that as a, I want to do my own sampler is what I'm saying with the espresso bean. And then, um, and as you can see, I'll just go quickly. Come on you. But you can see what I mean by trying to blow them up so I could get down to what the heck is going on. Um, with the, uh, like to try to get down to the actual, you know, whatever. So, oh, there's that guardian dude. But uh, you get the idea. So I hope, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't want to bore you this one. You probably are. <laughs> uh, there we go. And there's some berries. There's the woman somewhere around there. But look at that. There's the knight and the ho Oh, there's the woman. The horse. Hold on. I'll go show you the two last things I did. Or the two, very first two things I ever did. Hold on. Take me a second or two. the uh, um, one from uh, somebody who actually did, uh, the person who taught me. So, so this is my very, very, very first one I got, uh, and I did, and you have no idea how proud I was. So this is a nine count, I think. I don't know, like I said, if I knew what, uh, what if it's like a square inch or square whatever, or square centimeter or whatever. But anyways, I was so freaking happy that I did this one. It took me forever. Um, yep, super duper happy. The second one I did was this kit. Oops, better be careful. Um, I did this one. So that was the second one I did. And I was pretty bloody super duper happy about that one, I can tell you that much. And the person who taught me, and I'll show you the quality difference, is like, what the hell? And she did the, she did three of them. She did three uh, composers. She did Beethoven, uh, Bach and Mozart for me as, as a gift and um, she did these things in like no time at all look at that back stitch on that holy crap I've seen some of her stuff uh, hanging on the wall um, I'm talking uh, like a couple of meters long kind of thing like in a meter tall uh, type cross stitch various thicknesses um, 
just magnificent. Um, so that's that. Um, hope you had fun or enjoyed looking at this stuff. Oh, did I show you one of my little bookmarks? Yeah, I did. That's it. Um, and then I was working on this as well, uh, just for fun. I wanted to try to figure out um, to do that. Uh, this is backstitch, but you can see the bottom one actually is properly done. This one's a little jiggly jaggly. Um, Still learning, still. But this is when I went to this point. I'm like, you know what? This is why you're getting the jiggly jaggly, just because um, I'm not using. I need a, even a finer, um, like I need a higher count uh, Ida, and that's why I was like, you know what? Actually, now you have to get into embroidery land. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see what I could do uh, with terrain features, and I just love touching. Okay, that's it. Hope you're having a great time. See you later.